Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn about Test Explorer Overview. What is a Test Explorer? How the entire work, you know, Explorer looks like? What are the different options in the Explorer? What it is used for? All those things we will see. Test Explorer conditions. What are these conditions? When this Test Explorer will appear? When it will get clear? All the data that you see it here. All these things we are going to see. And then the third one, very important point, test explorer actions. What are the different actions that you can perform? Can you run a specific test case? Can you run the failed test cases? All those things we are going to cover, very important for your exam preparation point of view. So why delay? Let's get started. All right. So the very first thing we have to understand how you open test explorer. Okay. Now for that, any project that you have created, by default you know this test activities will be present and you will be able to see a panel here called Test Explorer. So this is how you open the Test Explorer. Okay. Now second point. Now the moment you open Test Explorer, you see what are the things, if I ask you, what are the things you see? What are the things that you see? You see the workflows. Okay what you see the moment you open it the very first thing is you see workflows and you will also see something called test cases associated with that workflow these are the two things that comes for example this particular workflow has a test case that appears this wherever you see that arrow right if you expand it there is a test case there is a test case here for the workflow number three However, there is no test case for workflow number four. And these things are coming exactly from your project panel. From your project panel. So in your project panel, I have got how many XAMLs? Four XAMLs. And how many test cases? I have one, two, three. And each of these test cases are associated with specific workflows. So it is showing the workflow and showing the test case. Remember this. So what are the things you see the moment you open workflows and test, case, test cases? associated with the workflow you see it in that order however there is a difference you can create a project using process or i can use a test automation okay now here there is a point if i create a project using process template if i create a project using testing template so the test automation template and process template right so test automation template so there is a difference in the behavior so if i ask you a question i have created a project a developer has created a project using process template what will you see in the text explorer are you going to see workflows or test cases or both if a developer has created an automation using test automation template in that case, by default, by default, use the understand the word by default, what would you see? Are you going to see workflows, test cases or both? So here is your answer. Let me show you what is the answer. So this project is created based on the process template. So the moment you open process template, you see workflows and test cases, both you see test cases. Okay. If you use a test automation template, for example, let me show you, I have created a project using test automation. Do you see test automation project? So this used a test automation. So if I open this, if you go to the test explorer, it shows only test cases. Important point for knowledge and exam preparation. Getting it? If you use process template, both workflows and test cases will be shown by default. Remember this word default. Okay. By default. Because you can also apply filters. By default, this is how it will appear. And if you have created a project using test automation template, by default, test cases will appear. Important point. Now, if you if you apply a filter, for example, if I select workflow, then workflows will appear. Now, if I remove, so filters are important. So that's why that word by default is important. Okay. So this is the first point you have understood. Very good. Now let's move on. Excellent. Let's move on to our next point. The third point 
is about filters okay let's see certain filter that are available in the header of test explorer now let's go back to the studio and here there are three different filters available okay what is this and how it works now if you are very new you see by default this is how it will appear what you do remove this gray, gray color icon that you see around this right let's remove everything now what happened it is blank you'll see how where they went because we have removed all the gray boxes that's why it is blank let us understand one by one the very first one is what it will show if you highlight it here it says one passed test cases the very first one which is highlighted green one okay now here i will write something called the green filter right the green tick mark that shows what test cases which are passed it will show you number of test cases which are passed understood okay now let me uncheck this again make it blank let me select the second one what is the second one says if you highlight failed test cases red color failed test cases easy to remember now red filter that is for what test cases which are failed so writing like this is important so that you understand then what is the third one let me remove everything blank let me select the third one if you highlight what it's saying one not executed test case if you click on it it will show you which one you have not executed yet okay so blank one blank filter that means i'm simply writing blank filter and all that so that you understand okay not executed test cases it will show test cases which are not executed understood these three options very good now let's move on to our fourth point here in the fourth point there are certain things run all in view run all for example if i highlight something then it will appear uh, let me select everything first you select everything now let us highlight something so that you see all these options so these options are very important guys for example if i ask a question what is the difference between run all in view and run all what happens and these are your options then you must understand all these options one by one what is run all in view let's start with that okay run all in view what is the meaning of run all in view now here using three options if i ask you what are you doing with these three options you will say rakesh these three options are used to filter for example if i want to filter uh, the past test cases uh, let's say i want to filter the failed test cases and not executed test cases so it is going to show me okay these things have failed this thing have not been executed if i select this it will show everything now let me apply a filter so i have applied a filter after applying certain filter if you hit on run all in view it runs all that you have applied under filter so run all in view means what after in simple words i will write okay after applying filter so you have seen this filters right green filter red filter and blank filter you have applied certain filter any combination after applying filter whatever is in the view is in the view will run only those select after applying filter whatever the output is coming for example if i remove this how what is the output only one output so if you hit on run all on view what would happen only the applied after applying the view whatever is remaining the output only those things will run okay after applying the filter so here the word filter is important now what is the fifth point run all what is run all run all will even though you have applied filter it doesn't matter to it if you hit on this run all it is going to run everything okay i'll stop that so it is going to run everything that are available all the test cases without looking at the filter without looking at the filter it will run everything everything means every test cases here it will only run the test cases which are which are as per the filter and here it will not look at the filter it will run everything that are available in your project available in your project now it becomes very important for you to read the documentation 
right so let me show you the documentation so all you do simply type test explorer ui path docs you will find this site here there are certain important points i have covered until now let's cover that okay what is the first point we have covered within a process project both test cases and workflows are shown right this is important so let's highlight within the process okay this we have seen if you create wherein whereas within a test automation project the test explorer panel shows by default only test cases this you have learned very good okay now another important point is if you for example let me select everything okay now here it is saying 7 do you see 7 small 7 test case aw37 so what is the meaning of that 7 means it shows you how many different test data you have so i have got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 total seven test data variations or data remove this point this is also important point i'll copy this to my notepad and let me write it below this okay for example if you have a data driven test case it shows up collapsed by default with the number of variable placed under the parenthesis within the parenthesis it is going to show you that number of test data clear it is going to show that okay all right this one is important point now next you should have 2021.10.1 that is leave it anyways we are in 2023 now in the future if you are watching you will be having a higher version condition you may be having a higher version look at the condition test explorer results information in session based this means if you close studio the information shown in the test explorer will be cleared not even closing if i go back and open a different project all the things that you see it here 100% and all this information will vanish it will be cleared important point the test cases are listed in the test explorer based on an execution order so if you have executed this one right now it will come on the top like that it will show in the execution order leave that now important point is this one what is the meaning of run all in view So, what is the meaning of run on on view? Run tests that are currently in view through all filters. So, let me copy this to Notepad. So, run all in view. Remember, run the test cases or the test tests that are currently in view through all filters. So, all these filters I have shown you through all filters. Okay, very good. What is the second important point? Run all. run all test cases and workflows there is no filter okay so now it is becoming easy right when you read the documentation once you have understanding so it doesn't look for any filters okay what is the sixth important point run selected i have shown you this run selected you if you simply highlight something and click on run selected it will run that selected one you can also run a specific test data like this right click and run that is the meaning so run selected means run only selected test cases and workflows additionally you can use the contextual menu by right clicking file and run okay this one is understood so this understanding is important guys so that you can easily understand the questions and select the right answer now what is the seventh important point let me show you run fail okay this is very important run failed test cases now why it is important i am saying delete and let me hit enter here run failed test cases run only failed test cases how you get it in your workflow if you have got any kind of failed test cases for example if i remove all the filters you can see this is failed there is a option called run failed test cases so if you do this what happens it will rerun that failed test cases okay so this is very important run only failed test cases now remember the opposite of it what is the opposite of it you have run failed test cases do you have run passed test cases as an option here no you don't have an option called run passed test cases so this options are important so what you have run all in view which depends on the filter run all runs everything doesn't matter what filter you have applied run selected will run the selected one and the run failed test cases means it will run the failed one similar one you have debug selected debug failed test cases 
you debug the failed test cases instead of running or debug the selected one instead of running these are the two extra options and the last option is repeat last test run whatever you have run last time you want to repeat that that's it so here important point is run failed test cases you don't have something called run passed test cases remember that okay so here this options i can simply say run all all in view i will say run view in all run uh, debug all in view if i create such options you will get confused so having an understanding if you understand then you can easily select any kind of answers right so reading all these options is important run fail test cases run only fail test cases so here the very important table for your exam preparation would be this particular documentation okay and this is also a important table to go through clear guys so thank you so much for watching we are going to cover one more important point in our next video you know what that important point is this 44% means what what is this activity coverage we are going to learn in our next video so why delay let's move on to our next content and don't miss out to subscribe to my channel go to my channel home page and click on the subscribe button beside the logo and also you can click on the inverted triangle and click on this notification icons to stay updated